Racing drivers, fighter pilots, astronauts, these people experience G-force every day. But so can you. We're here to find out how many Gs you can pull in a children's playground. First off, we're going to see how many Gs we can pull on the roundabout just on its own. 1 G is the force applied by gravity at the Earth's surface. 2 G is simply two times this force, and so on. Well, that's not too bad, over one. But I want more. I wonder what would happen if we put a Brainiac on. So, if you pull 2 G on a roundabout, you have double your weight pulling away from the centre of the spin, which is why it's so hard to hold on. <laughs> It's so hard to talk to you with fellas hanging around you. 1.7 G's that time. But I still want more. I wonder what would happen if we added more weight to the equation. Go! Alright, that'll do. <laughs> Nearly two. We were just off the magic two there. So we're just going to try it with me this time and four whole Brainiacs pushing. See how fast we can get. I've got a little bit of a confession as well, gentlemen. It's got absolutely nothing to do with the mass on the roundabout. It's just how fast you spin. So let's go for it. See how fast we can get. Ready? Yep. Oh! The maximum g-force that a human being can withstand is approximately 9g. To weigh as much as an elephant, you'd have to pull around 80 G. <laughs> Excellent! Two and a quarter G that time. So you don't need fast cars or aeroplanes, just a few mates and a kiddie's playground. Excellent! 